There's one. No way. I'm not even tied up yet. Dude, oh this thing is dead. God. I'm not even tied up yet, guys. Give me the camera. What do we got? What do we got? I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. That's not what I thought. That is a big freaking bluegill. Oh, my Holy God. Crap. I wasn't expecting that either. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Dude, that's like a nine. That's like almost nine, eight and a half. That's a yeah. really good bluegill. As you can see, we are in the fish house today once again. We got the fish house. Why leave it? You know what I mean? And today, we got my brother. He's right there. He just caught that massive bluegill. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we got this guy. Let her go. Hey. That's Brandon. Random Brandon. You guys all know him. But yeah, today... Oh, you want to let him go? Yeah. Let's let him go. Let him grow. Bam. Today, I don't know if it says in the, in the title, but we're gonna be catching some crappies and uh, apparently we're gonna be catching some bluegills too. Huge shout out to our good buddy, Scott Mackner, uh, 330 Maniac, if you guys haven't heard of him. He has a YouTube channel also and he posts like, he, he hammers fish, he catches lots of fish. So this is his spot, he actually set us up here, he's gonna come fishing with us tomorrow and uh, yeah, we're gonna be staying the night out here tonight and hopefully just grease and crappies all night. We also have some iFish Pro tip ups. Scott mentioned that there is a possibility of maybe getting some walleyes here tonight, so that would be pretty cool also. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, well, let's let's watch Ryan catch this fish and I'm getting jealous. I'm, I need to rig up still and I'm gonna catch some. Dude, we got lucky. Like right? we, we just- Oh, another nice bluegill dude. We didn't even set like fish. We just popped the, por we popped the permanent down, the big bite fish house. That's a damn good gill, dude. Oh my god, looks like you got a little Euro Tackle Crazy Critter also, brown color. Yeah. Okay, dude, I'm fishing. I'm fishing. All right, guys, I was getting a little bit bored in the house. Uh, we caught a few fish right when, right when we started fishing, but I think uh, we had a bunch of perch move in, and it's kind of been kind of crappy ever since. So I came out and drilled a couple holes. I'm going to see if I can't get some hole hopping for just a little bit. Also, I'm wearing my Crocs right now, so... Not sure how long I'm gonna last out here, but I just figured I'd come give it a try, see if I can't poke a few, few bluegills or crappies. Okay, we got this has to be a crappie. Oh, oh my God, we got some good fish here, guys. Holy crap, that thing flew up so fast. We got another one flying. Got him. This. Oh. Got him. Got him. This one, this feels pretty good. This might be a bluegill, I'm thinking. Loosen that drag a little bit. This is feeling pretty decent. This might be a big bluegill. We're fishing 24, yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> look at the bump on that thing's forehead. That's a good bluegill. So these must be bluegills, I'm thinking. I don't know, that first one definitely might have been a crappie. Let me go quick. Let's uh, try to get a bigger one. All right, well instantly, I caught one fish and they're just being super finicky. So let's go to the next hole. I think I drilled five holes out here, so should be able to get on a couple. Man, like there is a lot of fish down there. For them not to be absolutely hammering me, that just tells me that these have to be little, all, all little fish. Like, look at this, guys. Can you guys see the graph here? This is bottom. These are all fish. This is me. There's a fish on me right now. See, he's going down, and that's, there's another one going to me. Okay, I'm going to move holes again. This one's just full of little guys. Wow. That one freaking pounded me. Once again, though, I don't think it's too crazy. Stuck in my deucer. Oh my god, it's not bad at all. God, they look like such tiny fish on the graph. That is a freaking... Oh, oh, perfect landing. Crushed it! This is a better one. This one feels big. Oh... This one might be good. It's a good bluegill. Oh my god, it's a crappie! 
It's a crappie. We got a crappie, guys. That is a freaking decent crappie. I think the I think you have to get uh, over 11 inches on this lake, so that's probably like borderline, but that's a first crappie. That's awesome. I'm going to let him go. We're not, like I said, we're not keeping fish today. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably be letting all the crappies go today. That is sick, though. That's a good sign. Just crushed a crappie. All right, well, caught one crappie. Spooked the whole school. I'm going to go to the last hole. And uh, maybe I'll go to that first hole again where I missed those two because those felt like good fish. Okay, back to the first hole it is. Oh, yeah. It's freezing. Let me go ahead and get this slab back. I gotta get back down there. If the crappies are like that all night, it's this fun. All right, guys. It is pretty dang cold out. I think I'm going to uh, retire the outside for the night. It's it's also getting dark, but. I've said this before in a lot of videos, this camera doesn't seem like it, but it's like 6 o'clock. So it's getting pretty dark out. Hopefully these crappies should start firing up. We do also have some tip-ups set up, some iFish Pro tip-ups for walleyes and crappies. And in case you're curious uh, how I'm keeping the holes open because it's so cold, check this out guys. Ice Defense sent me uh, another Ice Defense system here and it's rigged into my iFish Pro tip-up. They actually custom made this, they just put a hole in here, and then they uh, screwed this on, and I got the battery here, and uh, I don't really want to open it right now, but the ice defense is in there, keeping the hole totally open all night long. All right, I'm cold. Let's get back in the house and hang out with Ryan and Brandon. Yeah. Bro, seriously. Seriously? Little update guys, the camera was just off, but Ryan missed one, and as much as I love this hat, like this hat is so dope, it has fish on it and stuff, but it's so warm because it's like wool, or it's not wool, it's like an actual knitted hat, so. Quick hat change. Let's hopefully catch some more fish. What's going on, Brian? Let me get a fish. Huh? Let me get a fish, my fish fish. Spatula down in the pans. Little update, guys. I think it's like, what time is it? 6.30 or something? 7? It is 7 o'clock p.m. and uh, we just got done cooking some supper. I Usually I like to put cooking supper into my videos, but the past like three videos I've been doing a lot of cooking and not a lot of catching, so I'm just going to show you it today. There's the lasagna, my favorite brand of lasagna, I might add. But anyways, bite slow. Current time, 7 o'clock. Cross your fingers that we catch some more big old crappies. We just actually, we just actually missed them. I don't know if the camera is on, but Ryan missed one and Brandon missed one. So. I'm gonna freaking freak it's a out. It's, a <laughs> it's not a minnow. It's, it's a good is. fish. It's a good fish. It's probably like a, it's probably like a dragon crappie. Dragonfly larva coming to check <laughs> you out for mating or something. <laughs> Crikey, we got a wild Brandon. Ran we got a random Brandon. <laughs> Crikey, we got a wild random Brandon in his natural habitat, making his bed with his, well actually, in my mother's blankets. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Tell the people what's going on. Uh, I want to get comfy and fish, so I'm going to top bunk because Ryan's old. We got to let him on the lower level, you know. Handicap parking. Handicap parking. Are you here? Run for crap! Dude, that's a bad crappy. No way. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Dude. That's a freaking big one. <laughs> yeah. Holy oh, crap. That was awesome. We were literally laying here in the dirt, guys, and Ryan just hooked up. I thought he was playing a joke on me. I thought you had it hooked on the hole or something. Because it was peeling. Holy mm -hmm. buckets, dude. That's a big one. Yeah. 
Just seen a high mark and yeah, reeled, reeled up, up to him. And heck yeah. Well, let's get him he freaking hammered it. Like we yeah, said, a big we were keeping, but that's a hog. How yeah. big do you think it is? Huh? How big do you think it is? Probably it's 13. Still. Heck yeah. Alright, let's shut the lights back off, guys. As you guys can see, we're all just kind of hanging out, laying down, getting comfortable. I'm sure if one of us catches another one, I'll pull this back out. If not, probably see you in the morning. Have you ever seen a grown man fall asleep with a sucker in his mouth? Now I have. Little update, guys. It's currently 11 p.m., 11 o'clock at night, and I just caught 11 and a half inch crappie. And Looks like Ryan's working too. And as you can maybe hear, Brandon's... Oh, okay, here. Let's let this nice crappie go quick. Bye, buddy. As you can probably hear, Brandon's up there snoring. That was pretty cool. Hopefully that'll happen again. Jake. What? Never mind. Oh, did you find him? Oh, yeah. Morning update. What's going on? Oh, I got a headache. Why? Oh. Uh, Lack of oxygen? No. My pillows suck. Your pillows suck? Yeah. Those are your pillows. Oh, yeah, I need new ones. What do you got there? Oh. Oh, yeah, you said you don't feel good. No, my brain hurts. <sighs> nobody, nobody. Morning, fam. It is currently. What time is it? Seven. No, it's 8.30. It's 8.30. We did wake up at 7, though, so we have been laying around for a little bit. Ryan is uh, firing up some breakfast over there, some bacon and eggs. It should be really delicious. And uh, we've also been catching some bluegills, or Ryan has, but I've just been too lazy to get up and grab the camera. <coughs> Anyways, stay tuned. We got uh, bacon and eggs coming up, and hopefully we'll catch some fish, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Check it out, guys. Fresh bacon, eggs. This is gonna be good. As you guys seen, we had a couple holes freeze over last night. It's a good thing I had my ice defense. That's a nice defense. It's uh, kind of like an aerator. It keeps your hole nice and wide open all night. And I just got that hooked up to a little Dakota lithium oh. most of the time. And if you guys don't know what a Dakota lithium is, right here, the little uh, lithium power box thing. You guys have probably heard me talk about this in a couple other videos, but I'll show you real quick. We'll open it up for you real quick. And that's what the innards look like. Got a fuse and everything. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty heavy duty. Then right here, that's like the master switch. You got uh, two USB ports. You got a, a plug port on this side. Uh, this controls. Actually, yeah, I think this controls the plug port. And then this side's a light, so you can blow up your jigs and all that. I think on that note, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little overnight in the Big Bite Fish House action. Really quick, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Big Bite Fish Houses for making this whole video possible and just making it possible for us to, you know, travel around in this thing and pretty much fish in luxury. Another shout out to Ice Defense for uh, keeping my holes nice and open. Huge shout out to the to the viewer and subscriber that uh, sent us this espresso maker machine. I think it's gone now. There's a little bit left. But we are in love with this. We have been drinking it like every morning. So thank you. I think it was the Mott family. If you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button. And I guess all it's up to say is you gotta start fishing more. Do you have a fish on, Ryan? I did. We're still catching fish. We'll see you next time.